Not very many Octorians have come through. That's true. That's true. Okay. Let's see who comes. All right. And then you can ask questions, of course. How much time do you have? Um, I can give you 45 more minutes. Oh, wow. Thank you. That would be till five o'clock, my time. It would be till two o'clock your time. Mm -hmm. All right. This is Sanisha. Hi, Sanisha. Welcome. Thank you for. Um, I am from the Integrated Octorian Space Council. That council, which brings in portions of all of Octorian space. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Um, you know the questions, right? So we want to know, uh, first, we are writing a book and we, 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 we write a chapter on Arcturians, like an article, and there are some very basic questions which we would like to answer, to have answered. You realize that Arcturians are very private. Right. And that we, as a people, and peoples, plural, have many different ways and different cultures. But I will attempt to answer your questions as best as possible. If there is something that we cannot tell you, we will be very blunt. Thank you. So my first question is, uh, is um, other Arcturians from the star which we call Arcturus? There are many peoples in the star system, plural, of Arcturus. There are at least seven different space allotted species, meaning that we control space for seven different species in Octorus space. Okay, so there is a single star which we call Arcturus. It's not a galaxy, it's one big star, which is ah, star our sky. The star system is where I am from. Not all the peoples are from this star. Uh-huh. Are, 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 are these all peoples in the same area of the sky? Yes. Mm -hmm. There are people within what you call light years of us that we are familiar with one another. Mm -hmm. okay. What do you need to know about this? That's sufficient. Just wanted to make sure it's the same the same star as we call Arcturus. We know which star you mean when you call Arcturus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so next question is, um, what's the origin of Arcturians? Where did you come from? 
Octorians are from the Milky Way system. Okay. As you call it. Mm -hmm. It is that we are from a star that is in Octorus space. This is our origin. Now, other species that we are speaking about that we control space for are not necessarily from this star system. Mm -hmm. But they are also mostly from the Milky Way galaxy, as you call it. Mm -hmm. What else do you need to know? Thank you. Uh, so, uh, are you united? Are all Arcturians united? Are you speaking for the united entity? We, I am speaking for, yes, the integrated alliance, yes, mm -hmm. of Octorians and those beings that choose to align with us in this area of space, which is to be a peaceful unity for all times so that we may be allies one with another against any forces that may tend or want to conquer this portion of space. We do not need to conquer large areas of the galaxy, but in this portion of space, we maintain a peaceful alliance so that we may do our trading, commerce, and any kind of business that we wish without any problems. Now, if someone wishes to join us in our alliance, that is a possibility if they agree to be trades, merchants, and friendly peoples. We do have alloys, minerals, and compounds that are tradable with many different species and civilizations. We are amicable with outside trade, even if they do not want to be part of the Alliance in some situations. If they have things that we need that are not common to our area. Okay. So, uh, thank you. So, the what's the relationship between your um, council and uh, Gurk Fitnir? Gurk Fitnir is a council or alliance that is there for ascension purposes for the earth. They also have peaceful alliances with many different species, seven, just like us. But they have different missions and different reasons for congregating. We are mostly commerce and trade agreement people. We do like the amicable trade of merchandise. We also share art and music and cultural thought processes one with another that make life more amicable, joyful, and perhaps enriching. The Gurkfiknir people, as they are called, are a group that are come together for more political thoughts and processes, for also some trade, but mostly for prophecy and these kinds of certification and for advancing other species. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. So the Gurkfit near their consider Arct an Arcturian council to be their leaders, right? There are Arcturians within the Gurkfit near alliance. They are the leaders because they have the greater understanding of the space that they fill. Also, they are a greater understanding of all galaxies that are in this proximity. They have a higher functionality and wisdom than the others that are in the Alliance. They bear, however, a greater responsibility being with them because they have the final say on all decisions. Therefore, if a decision is wrong, the Octorians will be mostly to blame. So, is your organization the consul, the Arcturian consul, which uh, governs Gurkfitnir? Our council is separate and divided from Gurkfitnir. Okay. We may have some trade agreements with them, but they are a separate entity from us. Okay. Okay. Um. Can you tell me about the species, uh, the main species which we would be dealing with? Suppose uh, sometime from now the Earth becomes a part of the galaxy and we will be dealing with certain Arcturians. Which Arcturians would that be? Which Arcturian races? That is an interesting question because times change and thought processes are always changing. The importance of Earth is right now fairly high, but it may lose interest in the future. Mm -hmm. So, we would be interested in trade agreements with Earth, as well as the green and orange Octorians, the Octorians from the White Agartha, as it's called, and perhaps some of the other species that are considered Octorian because they are close by, but are actually separate species. Now, I do not think that Gurkfirknir will always be as interested in the planet Earth as they are at the present. Once they reach their goals with the ascension and becoming friends with them, I do not believe they have much interest except for friendship and for perhaps some mild trade with your planet. The hybridization program is their main function with your particular world. Okay. So, uh, I guess I'm interested mainly in the Arcturians which look human. Can you tell me about yeah. this? There are Arcturians that look more like Earth species. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about them. What's their name and what's their origins and how are they related to us? They are from a farther portion away from Earth and from the Octorian area, but still are in alliance with us. Mm -hmm. They are the Ven Zasa. Okay. They were early to be on the Earth's surface, one of the more ancient species. Okay, what color are they? They are different colors, but mostly fair-skinned like you. Uh-huh. Fenzaza, right? 
Tenzaza. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, are they now involved? That is how we would pronounce their name. Are they currently involved with the Earth? I believe they seeded the Earth long ago, but have little interest at this time in returning. Right now, they are going through some climactic changes in their portion of space. Their sun is unstable. Therefore, they are looking for more of a homeland rather than looking at scientifically interests on your planet or prophecies that may be spoken at this time, they are doing a scientific study of about 13 different planets where they may relocate. Okay, I understand. So, so fences are contributed to human genome, so they're genetically related to us, right? Yes. Uh, At which time was that? Was it at the time of Atlantis before that? Before Atlantis, by a thousand two hundred years at least, in your time specification. Um, our understanding is Atlantis lasted for about a year, it makes no difference. Yes. Are they from the modern time? They did not stay around for Atlantis. Oh, so they were in the Lemurian times? They were nomadic. Did they see the Earth at the Lemurian times? So that's, if you understand. They did see it. They did not interact that much with Atlanteans or Lemurians or Egyptians or any of the cultures that existed at that time. Okay. It helps. So they are not a major contributor to human genetics. Fenzaza were their own. They were more secretive about what they did on your planet. And the history goes back very far, Mm -hmm. but cannot determine exactly what they did, except for they did change history there by speeding up evolution so that a missing link will not be found in some places. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, So some of the Arcturians are, uh, some of the human looking Arcturians are involved in um, in uh, solar system currently. Yeah. So what are those? What are those? What are, so I'm, I'm aware of human looking Arcturians being uh, working together with o- other aliens in solar system and working on an Earth project. Are you sure they are Arcturian and not Pleiadian? Uh, That's how they were characterized, Arcturians. I see. One moment while I check some information. Ah. There are some of the human-looking Arcturians, as you put it, in the solar system that you occupy. They are interested in the wormhole slash black hole, both behind Neptune and by Jupiter. And there is one by Saturn as well. These kinds of natural phenomenon can be manipulated for space travel and for other uses. Mm -hmm. Slingshot effects, with transportation, but it must be precise calculations. 
They are also interested in observing some of the history that is going on on your planet at this time. Mm -hmm. They will be more involved on your planet in probably 30 or 40 years when things start to change in a more dramatic way. Okay. So what is the species? What is the species that looks human? Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, the ones which you just mentioned, are the ones which are human-looking Arcturians in solar system. What is this species? Subrace of Arcturians. What is that subrace? Shock. The shock Arcturians. Okay, thank you. Wonderful. Uh, what color are they? They have a human look. Some of them are dark. There are very few that are deep magenta or purplish, deep purple. Mm -hmm. But most of them look human and have human colorings. Okay. Thank you. So uh, let's move to the orange Arcturians. So or orange Arcturians have been, uh, have been dealing with Earth and noticed by Earthans. The orange and green species. Okay. Can you t give their name? Let me see if it is appropriate for them to be given. Okay. They prefer to be called the orange and green Octorians. Sounds good. Um, what's their origin? Their origin is planet six mm -hmm. of Octorian sun space. Mm -hmm. I am from planet three. Ah, okay. What's your species then? We are Vensu. Vensu. Are you human looking? Not particularly. Uh, but uh, We I... have more of a thin body. Uh-huh. Some may confuse us with a gray species, uh -huh. but we are not connected in any way. Okay. But we are not colored gray. Mm -hmm. We have more of a pastel, lighter colors in our area. It is because of how our atmosphere shields us from the sun. Wow. Uh do we have a special shape of the head? The head is oblong, mm -hmm. like some grays. Mm -hmm. Your, some of your people have seen us and are familiar with who we are. Is your head um, divided into two parts? With a dip in the middle? Only slightly. It is not noticeable at first glance. Oh, so it's not the species I know. Okay. No. Did, I meet, did I meet you? Did you meet me? Uh, personally. Your species. Did you I meet you? You my species, but not me. Okay, interesting. Um, so what would be there, if, if, if we see you, what would be the... Uh, way to tell you visually 
what is the way to recognize that you that's the venzo species we are five foot tall mm -hmm. we are thin and small our heads are slightly larger in proportion to the body than yours are okay our colors are pastel okay pinks light blue purplish light purplish uh-huh some are very pale even a light pink have you got hair no do you wear a dress sometimes a robe a dress uh, i am not accustomed to the names of your clothing a sorry a okay cat and okay Sounds good. Um, so are you guys in solar system? Are Venzo present in solar system? We are presently not in your solar system, okay. but we are visiting periodically. Wonderful. Do you have a special shape of the ships or do you use a genetic ship? We usually use orb shaped ships or oblong shape shifts wonderful uh do you we um do not use them for long distance traveling mm -hmm. we usually fold space mm -hmm. or transport the ships to your area i understand thank you so um uh, biologically are you related uh to Mammals, reptilians, birds, any of those? We would be most considered humanoid more than any of the other things you mentioned. Okay. Uh, do you give live birth? Do we give birth? Not any longer. All children are performed in tubes or cloned okay uh do your children grow up in a family or otherwise it depends okay. there are some portions of the population whose traditions are to have family units but in my portion of the planet division and separation are fine with reuniting of dna species that are family units later in development okay um are you making human uh vans of hybrids the, the other do you hybridize with humans from earth it has been considered that we could do this but it has not been put into practice as of yet um so are any of the arcturian species um uh, our ancestors other than fenzaza fenzaza we have been to your planet many times it is hard to say who all are the ones that seeded your population? There is a little bit of many, many things that are DNA specific in your cultures. Mm -hmm. And so the answer could be yes, by 87% possibility, probability. Okay. So, which of the Arcturian species would be closest to the humans by DNA sequence? Which, please repeat that question. 
which of the Arcturian species would be closest to the humans by the DNA? And Zaza. Okay, thank you. Um, can you tell me about the orange green Arct uh, green orange Arcturians? What would you like to know? Uh, are they involved in the solar system? They are here in your solar system, yes. They are involved in some very interesting practices on Mars. Mm -hmm. They are not mining the planet, but they are making treaties with those people that are on Mars at this time and live within the Mars structure. Okay. Um. They want to become a political, visually political peoples for the sake of uniting the solar system after first contact on your planet. Mm -hmm. They are making inroads for political domination at this time, even though they are not on your planet. Uh, domination, mean, you mean they want to, are they good, are they friendly to Earth? They would consider themselves friendly to Earth, but they disagree with how Earth is being run. And so would, after first contact, make several inroads politically to change how the planet works. Okay. And do they want to dominate our politics and economy and social life? I'm not sure the extent of their want for this. Mm -hmm. but they feel that they will be a positive asset to your political realms. Okay. So uh, how socially uh, knowledgeable are they about the human life? They are about 82.7% accomplished in understanding all of your government procedures worldwide. Interesting, so they're involved. Interesting. So they're passively involved without any active involvement? Correct. Are they- They are planning involvement. They are no not at this time involved, but they seek future involvement after first contact. Haven't they been involved in our politics and the history? In some, some eras, but not at this particular time. Okay. The galactic government does not allow them to interact in the way they would like, and so they stay away. Are they in alliance with any of our enemies? Like, um... It is possible they are making alliances with people that are negative, but they are actively aligning themselves with as many people and species as possible. Not just one or two, but as many as they feel that will understand their place and if they get enough people behind them as allies, they may be able to sway the thought processes that are facing Earth in the future. I see. Right now we understand- We do not agree with what they are doing. Mm. We feel that they are Nosy. Okay. Is that the right word? 
I'm not sure. It's not the word I know in English. It's something weird. But maybe they are involved in in a way that we would not care to be. Okay. Are they um, related to mammals, placentals, reptilians, birds, any of those insects? I believe at one point they proceeded from amphibious backgrounds. Uh-huh. So what, what height are they? They are closer to six foot tall. Ah. They have come from a larger water type species. The oceans where they are from are larger than any of the land masses, similar to your planet. Mm -hmm. However, even more so. Okay. All right. Green, orange. So what, are they orange or green? What's that color? There has orange, there are green, there are deep purple, and there are also, well, the deep purple ones are like your albinos. They're very rare. Ah. But there are those that are actually green and orange at the same time. Is there any distinction? like your mulatto people are halfway in between in color. Okay. Are there any distinguishing features which would let us recognize them? The faces are wider. The cheekbones are larger. The face is longer. It cannot be wider and longer at the same time. Yes, it can. Okay. The head is divided. Oh. On the top? Yes. Like our shape of the heart? That is somewhat correct. Can you look? I cannot see. Okay, what? sorry. All right, that's all right. Okay. Um, I'm aware of small orange Arcturians, like um, three and a half foot tall, visiting yes. Earth. Yes, they exist. What is the and name of this species? In your solar system. What's the name of their species? Pelakasha Fendi Kitsa. Pelakasha Fendi Fitsa. Close enough. We need a shorter name. It's impossible to deal with such a name. The Fendi portion comes from a reptilian background. Uh-huh. There is a bit of reptilian in them. Mm -hmm. Are they actively involved in solar system now? Yes. Are they friendly with Girk Fitnir? Yes. Interesting. Uh, are they mammals, placentals in any way? They are also from water creatures. Okay. But I believe they are mammalian and reptilian together. Okay. So you're familiar with the word placentals, right? Placentals are the ones which... Uh, give birth. They do. Oh, they do. Wow. Well, they do now. Okay. At one point, they were an egg-laying society a thousand eight hundred and ninety years ago. Mm -hmm. But something happened, a, a natural mutation where the eggs would come out and hatch immediately and then eventually it became childbirth okay um 
do any of the species we discussed have um, special powers, like special powers of um, natural teleportation, I would say? Can you guys just um, disappear? Mostly telepathy, mental communications, psychic energy, which is not as strong as you might think, but does have some effect. But they do have the ability to bilocate mm -hmm. and do some things with technology very efficiently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Transporting moving from one place to another is very easy for them. There are some in their species that have higher and greater psychic abilities. Telekinesis is rare, but is part of some of them. That is all I can think of at the moment for your language. Thank you. So which of the Arcturian subspecies is most involved with Gurkfitnir? Well, there is a combination of them. Mm -hmm. You see, there is many different species within the Gurkfitnir community. So all of these different Fendorians, if you would like to call them that, or Octorians. Octorians and Fendorians are all the different species, but those that choose to be with the Alliance. Uh, my question was, which of the Arcturians were most present in Gurkvitnir? Most present? That's a good one. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Um, which of the Arcturian species are known on Earth? All of those species have been cataloged by your scientific community. Okay. So none of them stands out as most popular? No. But most visited are the small ones that you mentioned. Ah. Um, are any of the Arcturians are involved in, in um, recent, recent events which we, we know? Like, um, are any of the Arcturians are famous people on No, Earth? they are not involved in recent events on your planet. They are more observers than they are interactive. Mm -hmm. At least at this point, as far as I know. If there are any secret programs to become part of your infrastructure or mess, mess, or your governmental areas, we are not aware of it at this time. Okay. So many people in our communities, light worker communities, speak Arcturian language. Um, which one would it be? Which of the species? That would be ours. Oh, so that would be Venzu. Yes. The ours and the Zaza. Fenzaza? Yes. Okay. Uh, so many... The small Fendi's ones. I see. Fendi's. Small okay. Fendi's. The longer name, just we call them Fendi's. Okay. Fendi's is good. So um, I understand that these people are spiritually connected to Arcturians. Yes. Some of them are star family. Are they spiritually, they have been Arcturians in the past life and then now they incarnate on earth, is it? Is this it, is very true, yes. 
So that would be either one of the three species species you mentioned. Ven Venzo, all of the species mentioned. All of the species mentioned. Are you incarnating interchangeably within your culture from one species to another? Of course. Ah, I didn't know. Why not? I was under strong impression that the soul has to match the genetics of the species. It's really hard to incarnate trans specially, trans no species not true a soul is a soul it does not have to have a species to become life it is a it is life and then it takes on a form after that so the soul can land on any species of the certain intelligence? Of course. God puts the fire in you, but he doesn't make it into anything until you are born into that species. Do you have any unifying religion between uh, different Arcturian species? Yes. Are we aware of any of these religious teachings? Is it in Earth? Uh, is, is it uh, disclosed as one of the Earth religions? No, it's similar, but not the same. How do you identify it? It's more universal. It is more broad-minded. It has more facets in spiritual realms than in material realms. Mm -hmm. Is Jesus big in your, in your religion? He is not spoken of as Jesus or Yeshua, but his presence is similar in many cultures. Mm -hmm. So his energy is present within your religion. The presence of that kind of identity mm -hmm. is present, yes. Uh, are you familiar with law of one, the law of one? Yes. It's not coming from Arcturus, right? No. Okay. Is a council of nine part of Arcturian uh, are you connected to the Council of Nine? We know who they are, and we are friendly with them, but they are not from Arcturian space. Okay. What's your relationship with Galactic Federation of Light, with the Galactic Federation of Light? We are aware of them, but they choose not to communicate with everyone. It is not that they distrust us, but they have a mission, and the people that are within their ranks have chosen to maintain a citizenship, one with another, that is more exclusive than inclusive of all, pe of all species. Now, this is not to say that they are not friendly or loving, but they are secure one with another and they prefer this okay uh, same question about relationship between your console and um, um, the Ashtar command the Ashtar command is broad they speak to many different species and civilizations about their cause and how they want to move forward. So they are part of our communications, yes. Mm -hmm. They are a good group. We do not believe in all the things that they stand for, but we know that they are positively fueled. Are Arcturians involved in Ashar Command? Work there in our there ship? Are some that have joined it. Mm -hmm. 
the people in my council have not. They are separate from it, mm -hmm. but there are many like those who have joined Grok Fichnir and other alliances that are involved in Ashtar Command because they see or have the same opinions and views as this particular group does. Which of the species of Arcturians would be more involved in Ashtar Command? Once again, I do not know. Okay. We do not, we do not keep track of the individuals that go to different alliances because that is their right. Okay. Which of the Arcturian cultures uh, is most involved in channeling uh, Arcturian messages to the earth? That those from Grukvignir, the involvement with Grukvignir, those Octorians that are within that alliance are the most communicative with Earth. Although they still do not communicate a lot. There is many channelers who char channel generic Arcturian messages. Would it be Venzu, Fenzaza, or Fendi messages, or green-orange messages? There are different kinds of messages that are received by Earth through channeling, and it would be all different species, of course. Mm -hmm. But the most likely to channel through an Earth species would be Fendi. Fendi, okay, thank you. Um, and the last question, uh, what's your relationship to the Arcturian, oh, sorry, to the Andromedan Consul? What is the relationship between Arcturian Consul and Andromedan Consul? The Andromedan Council is more, is much less humanoid. Mm -hmm. There are many reptilians, insectoids, and less humanoid type beings in the Andromeda Council. Okay. That would be the difference. The mantis beings, the reptilians, the draconians, the, there are many of the less humanoid species in the Andromedan areas. Okay. Are you friendly with them? Do you have relationships with them? With we do. Mm -hmm. They are sometimes tentative and sometimes not completely trusting, okay. but there are many kinds of communications and we do trade with them and do have some intergalactic meetings with them. And this is all very positive. Oh, wonderful. Um, can I ask one more question? Um, the Pleiadians, we, we deal with Pleiadian cultures. Yes. Uh, Pleiadian, Errans, Lirans, uh, Yael. Uh, what's your relationship with those? There are different species within these, all these species. We try to be friendly and accept them all for who they are. There are some in these groups that do not accept us exactly for who we are. So trade is limited and communication as well. But we try to be open to all cultures and species so that trade is amicable but it is not always such as this. So right now we are very open to the Pleiadian cultures, um, especially Yael and Errans. Uh, would we have to choose who we deal with as we develop our relationships? So we would have to choose between Arcturians and Pleiadians, is it right? Of course you will have to choose who you want to trade with and who are those that are amicable with your species and accept you for who you are 
and have things that you need as well as they need. So yes, you will decide as a species in different governments who you will wish to trade with and be friends with because there are different kinds of trade and different kinds of wealth, if you will, with each different species. Uh -huh. Some of them will have more energy products or technology, and some will have more mineral products or rare earth or things of this nature. So it will be interesting to see what your governments deem as valuable. Some will have artifacts and art and music and things of this nature. But I think that your governments will choose those species with technology. Uh, is any of, of the Earth go governments who is already actively involved with Arcturians? Yes. In an indirect way, the United States, China, and Russia, also Brazil and Egypt, have had some contacts with, oh, Japan as well, Australia. There are many that have had contacts with us indirectly, our species. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. That's, uh, I guess uh, I just ran out of time, but that is, was very helpful. Thank you very much for your information. That also England and Canada, I may add. Excellent. That expanded our understanding of Arcturians much better. Thank you, much appreciation. Much appreciation. We hope that one day that we will be trusted and brought into your confidence as a good council to trade with and to be friends with and to share information, art, music, language, and such. Thank you for your kind offering. That is why I have appeared today is to cement or at least extend a hand toward friendship and community. We are a good peoples and our alliance or federation, whatever you choose to call it, council, Mm -hmm. is positive and enlightened. Thank you. We appreciate that. We are already friends with Gurk Fitnir and uh, we uh, value your involvement with us and your help. We are more distant, but we understand where you are and what is happening. Mm -hmm. We extend to you our energies of success. Excellent. We, thank you very much. Farewell for now. Perhaps we will speak again sometime. Thank you. Yes, your openness is very valued. So uh, I would invite you again to ex expand on what we already achieved. Thank you. We understand you believe Fendorians to be quite secretive, but you did not touch on any of the things that we could not share. Okay. Greetings and farewell for now. Greetings and farewell. Yes. Hey, Jim. Well, yes. Oh.
How are you? I'm good. Lots of uh, uh, new pieces of puzzle. Hmm? Lots of new pieces of puzzle. The time is 2.13. I'm sorry for get going over time. But by, oh, the, by the end, there was, uh, there was the new questions kind of became unanswered, so I had to kind of clarify them. Okay. All righty then. Oh. Well, I'm tired now. <laughs> sorry for that. That's all right. Alrighty then, I will talk to you some other time. Yes, I guess Friday, next Friday? Yes, we'll do the same time. Mm -hmm. Same two times or same one time? I guess same two times. Okay, all right. So um, 12.30 and 3.30. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. I'm surprised nobody else showed up.